something unprecedented has surfaced, a newly engineered human-like hand design that Elon Musk and Tesla appear to have deliberately kept under wraps until now. This revelation not only changes how people perceive humanoid robotics, but also reveals Tesla's careful strategy of concealing breakthroughs until the right moment arrives. A recent leak of the so-called Optimus Gold version, which appeared in a video showcasing a robot with arms and hands hidden beneath human skin-like coverings, confirmed suspicions that Tesla has achieved a level of anthropomorphic precision never before seen in mass-engineered robots. So, what can Tesla Optimus's new hand design handle? Stay with me. In just a minute, you'll see footage Tesla never released publicly. Before we begin, if you love staying ahead on Tesla and AI tech, hit subscribe now, you'll be the first to know the breaking news. The foundation of Tesla's new hand design lies in its pursuit of biomimicry. For decades, robotics engineers have struggled to replicate the intricacies of the human hand, which contains 27 bones, 29 joints, and an elaborate network of tendons and muscles capable of performing both delicate and forceful tasks. Traditional robotic grippers have relied on three or four simple mechanical fingers with limited degrees of freedom, making them suitable for picking up boxes or tools, but completely inadequate for tasks such as folding clothes, peeling fruit, or performing precision assembly. Tesla's engineers, however, have quietly been working on integrating micro-actuators and soft tendon-like systems within the Optimus hand that replicate the biomechanics of human digits at near one-to-one -one proportions. Early patents filed by Tesla hinted at modular finger structures powered by 40 miniature servo motors, each capable of exerting between 0.2 and 4 newtons of force per fingertip with a combined grip strength reaching 70 pounds. Now with the V3.5 version, evidence suggests these designs have matured into a functioning human scale hand. The importance of this development cannot be overstated. A robot with human-like dexterity crosses a threshold from being an industrial tool to becoming a genuine replacement for human labor in everyday life. Tesla Optimus new hand design has been measured at achieving a tactile sensitivity of 0.1 millimeters, meaning it can detect textures, edges, and resistance levels with a resolution comparable to the nerve receptors in a human fingertip. This sensitivity allows the robot not only to grip fragile objects such as eggs or glass without breaking them, but also to manipulate smartphones, kitchen utensils, and keyboards with seamless precision. The video footage of Optimus Gold showed its fingers moving beneath the skin-like covering with the subtle flexion of real joints, creating the illusion of a human hand, and confirming that Tesla has miniaturized its mechanical complexity to fit within the anatomical volume of a standard human palm. One of the most remarkable aspects of this secret design is how Tesla has combined hardware with advanced software integration. The inclusion of Grok AI, Tesla's conversational artificial intelligence system, now embedded within Optimus, represents a leap in how the robot interpret and execute task. Current demonstrations indicate that Optimus requires approximately 10 seconds from receiving a spoken instruction to completing the initial stages of the task. Critics may see this delay as sluggish, but it's important to note that large language models running on personal devices or cloud servers often take between 5 to 20 seconds to process complex queries. Given that Optimus must not only understand the linguistic command, but also translate it into physical action in real time, a latency of 10 seconds is not only acceptable, but revolutionary. In robotic terms, this response time surpasses benchmarks set by Boston Dynamics Atlas, which has a latency closer to 30 seconds when performing non-programmed tasks requiring contextual reasoning. The engineering implications of Tesla's human hand design also extend to material science. Rather than using rigid plastic shells or industrial alloys, Tesla has employed layered polymer composites that mimic the elasticity of human skin. Beneath the surface, each finger include carbon fiber microbones connected by synthetic ligaments composed of high tensile Kevlar-derived threads. This combination reduces weight while preserving flexibility allowing each hand to weigh under 500 grams, yet support dynamic loads of up to 70 pounds. Thermal sensors embedded into the fingertips detect temperature changes, enabling the robot to distinguish between a hot stove and a cold beverage can, further adding to its human-like capabilities. Independent testers who measured the resistance profiles of the hand reported that the robot could twist a screw with torque accuracy within 2%, a feat previously only achievable by specialized industrial robotic arms costing over $200,000. Why then did Tesla hide this design behind a skin-like covering in early showcases? The answer lies in Elon Musk's philosophy of unveiling technology in controlled stages to avoid both overhyping 
and under-delivering. By keeping the human hand concealed beneath smooth casing, Tesla ensured that attention remained on Optimus's walking, balancing, and lifting abilities while buying time to refine the most delicate part of the robot. The human eye is quick to criticize uncanny imperfections. Had Tesla revealed the hand before it was fully ready, public perception could have been damaged. Instead, by waiting until the Optimus 5 3.5 Gold version demonstrated naturalistic hand movement, Tesla created a moment of shock value, showing that the robot had silently crossed into a new phase of realism without fanfare. This strategy mirrors how Tesla introduced full self-driving capabilities in vehicles gradually, activating features only when reliability reached acceptable levels. The AI integration powering the new hand design is equally fascinating. Tesla's Dojo supercomputer, training millions of robot-human interaction videos at 1.8 exaflops of processing power, provides the backbone for Grok AI's embodiment inside Optimus. Each time the robot manipulates an object, data is transmitted back to Dojo where reinforcement learning algorithms refine the efficiency of finger motion and grip strength. Within just three days of operation in a customer's home, an Optimus version 3.5 can improve its efficiency in repetitive tasks by up to 40%, reducing errors from an average of 8 per 100 actions to fewer than 5 per 100. This self-improving loop mirrors the trajectory of Tesla's self-driving cars, which accumulated billions of miles of collective driving data to achieve autonomous reliability. In contrast, competitors such as Agility Robotics Digit or Boston Dynamics Atlas lack such vast data pipelines leaving their robots confined to pre-programmed routines rather than adaptive intelligence. Furthermore, Tesla's hidden design emphasizes cybersecurity and privacy concerns. By embedding Grok AI directly within Optimus and minimizing reliance on cloud-based responses, Tesla has created a semi-autonomous system less vulnerable to external attacks. The 10-second delay in command recognition is partly due to local processing safeguards that ensure instructions are interpreted correctly before physical action is taken. This prevents scenarios where a misheard command could cause harm. Benchmarks indicate that Optimus's onboard processors handle 250 trillion operations per second while consuming only 150 watts, thanks to Tesla's custom silicon optimized for edge AI. These figures demonstrate that Optimus can run advanced AI while using less energy than a standard laptop a fact that further underscores Tesla's mastery in merging hardware and software. As the world reacts to the unveiling of Optimus version 3.5 human hand design, one cannot help but draw parallels with historical technological milestones. Just as the Wright brothers' first powered flight redefined transportation, or the unveiling of the iPhone redefined communication, the revelation of a robot with truly human-like hands may redefine labor, domestic life, and human-robot relations. The once fanciful idea of a household robot capable of washing dishes, typing documents, or caring for loved ones is now tangible. Tesla has not only crossed the technical threshold, but has done so in a way that positions Optimus as both affordable and scalable, ensuring that this is not a laboratory curiosity, but a product destined for widespread adoption. So whether society is ready for robots that can mimic human hands so perfectly remains to be seen. But one fact is undeniable. Elon Musk and Tesla have once again pushed the boundaries of possibility, and in doing so, they may have quietly introduced the most transformative invention of the century. Beneath the Optimus shell lies an integrated system of artificial intelligence, advanced hardware, energy storage, and software reuse that no other robotics company can match. Tesla is not building Optimus as an isolated experiment, but as the embodiment of its entire ecosystem. The data from over 6 million self-driving cars, the AI supercomputer Dojo, custom-designed chips, a global battery supply chain producing over 100 gigawatt hours annually, and cost-efficient manufacturing at scale across 12 factories worldwide. This convergence creates what could be described as the hidden technology of Optimus, the reason why its long-term impact may extend far beyond today's industrial robotics. The core of this hidden power is artificial intelligence, Tesla has invested over $2 billion developing its Dojo supercomputer, announced in 2021 as the most ambitious AI training cluster built outside traditional tech giants. Dojo is designed to reach 1.1 exaflops of processing capacity, 
a staggering figure equivalent to 1.1 quintillion floating point operations per second. That level of computation surpasses what 12,000 NVIDIA A100 GPUs would deliver combined. While other robotics companies rely on simulations or small-scale data collection, Optimus is linked directly to this system, meaning it is trained not in a lab vacuum, but in the real world. Every mile, driven by a Tesla car, over 100 billion miles annually, contributes to its brain. Every unusual pedestrian movement, sudden obstacle, or complex interaction recorded on the road becomes part of the 50 petabytes of data that Optimus can learn from. This is an unprecedented feedback loop, because the robot does not just mimic human motions. It develops decision-making skills grounded in trillions of real-world frames. No competitor has this advantage. Boston Dynamics, for all its remarkable demonstrations of agility, still programs robots primarily through controlled environments with datasets limited to under one terabyte. Agility Robotics deploys digit into warehouse trials, but its learning is capped at 10,000 hours of repetitive logistics tasks. Tesla, on the other hand, leverages a fleet of more than 6 million cars that collectively generate 1.5 exabytes of data yearly. If a Tesla vehicle can recognize a pedestrian crossing in heavy rain or a bicycle swerving across traffic, then Optimus can adapt those recognition models to spot a co-worker moving across a factory floor or a piece of equipment blocking its path. Elon Musk has been clear. The real value of Optimus is not its physical movement, but its neural network, trained by the same infrastructure that makes self-driving cars smarter every day. Once the models are built, scaling them across millions of robots requires almost no additional cost, with production costs projected at under $20,000 per unit at scale. Hardware is the second layer of this hidden story. Energy consumption has always been the biggest barrier to humanoid robots. A robot that drains its battery within an hour cannot be economically useful. Tesla confronted this problem through breakthroughs in actuators, weight reduction, and battery design. Its new generation of actuators reduces energy consumption by roughly 30% compared to the first prototype. To put that in perspective, if an early version of Optimus could operate for five hours in a factory before running out of power, the latest generation can sustain an eight-hour shift under the same battery conditions. That difference is not trivial. It determines whether a robot is a flashy demo or a functional worker. Weight efficiency plays a role as well. By integrating advanced composite materials similar to those tested in the Model S Plaid, Tesla has trimmed the overall body weight of Optimus Gen 3 by 10 to 15%. At a height of about 5 feet 8 inches and a mass between 56 and 60 kilograms, shaving off 7 or 8 kilograms reduces energy expenditure by 5 to 7%. Less weight means better balance, less strain on motors, and longer battery endurance. Every small percentage counts when the target is an entire day of continuous work. At the center of this balance is the battery pack. Tesla equips Optimus with a compact 2.3 kilowatt hour pack, far smaller than the 75 to 100 kilowatt hour packs found in a Model Y, but precisely optimized for the robot's duty cycle. That capacity allows Optimus to run more than eight hours without recharge, equivalent to powering the average lighting needs of an American household for a full day. The cleverness lies not just in the energy density, but in the placement. The pack is embedded within the torso to act as a stabilizing weight, imitating how humans rely on their chest mass for balance. The cost structure of this battery is equally crucial. Thanks to Tesla's mass production of 4680 cells, battery costs have already fallen below $100 per kilowatt hour. That means the entire pack for Optimus costs only about $230. In robotics, where battery systems typically account for a significant share of overall expense, this figure is almost shocking. Competitors building low-volume robots cannot access such economies of scale. Tesla, with its gigafactories and global supply chain, can produce energy storage at a fraction of what the rest of the industry pays. This is the silent advantage that makes a consumer market robot plausible. Software integration completes the triad. Rather than building new processors from scratch, Tesla repurposes its full self-driving chips inside Optimus. These chips already handle perception and planning for autonomous vehicles, tasks that overlap with what a humanoid robot requires. Object detection, path planning, collision avoidance, all are transferable. The difference lies in the domain, 
cars deal with streets and traffic, robots with rooms and hallways. But the architecture remains the same. Tesla can simply port its neural networks into Optimus, adjust the training data, and achieve competence in robotics without incurring fresh development costs. The economic implications are striking. Every Tesla vehicle on the road is essentially funding the AI backbone that Optimus inherits. Training that costs hundreds of millions of dollars for cars becomes almost free when applied to robots. This is why Elon Musk has predicted that Optimus may eventually be cheaper than a family sedan. Batteries cost only a few hundred dollars, chips are reused from existing programs, and the software is already trained at scale. What do you think about this? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope to bring the best information to you. Please give a thumbs up if you like this. Join Techno Creator by subscribing and hit the bell icon so you will not miss out on any awesome videos. We value your feedback. Thanks for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun.